I'm going to react to some of the conversation that took place on first take in regards to Team USA. And basically the debate was over how close these games were. And is it a good thing that LeBron James had to, I guess, quote unquote, save the day for two games in a row. Stephen A. Smith, of course, made his points about it. I'll play it for y'all and give you my quick opinion. So did Mad Dog, same thing. I'm going to go quickly over the box scores of Team USA's games, though. So most recently, they beat Germany 98-92. Uh, the game before that, it was South Sudan. It went down to the wire. They won by one point, 101 to 100. Serbia, they beat 105 to 79. That was really the only blowout that they had. They beat Australia the previous game before that, 98 to 92. And they beat Canada by 14, 86 to 72. And so this is showing me that, again, and I said this in other videos, gone are the days where you could turn on your TV and you could bet Team USA is going to win by 20, 30, 40. But let's get into some of the concerns that Stephen A said that he has about the team. Here we go. Are you concerned that LeBron needed to save Team USA in back-to-back -back games? Well, listen, I'm con I, it's not that I'm not concerned mm -hmm. because I don't like these close matchups. As long as they're shooting the ball effectively, doggy. What you want is marksmanship. In international competition, with the rules being a bit different, with it being an adjustment and you're having to play their style of game as opposed to your very own. That comment that Stephen A made stood out to me for several reasons. I felt like if that was made 10, 15 years ago, I would totally understand. But especially in today's game and the video I covered with the whole Steph Curry effect, the NBA is a shooting league, is a three-point league. Like the international play, that Euro style, it has influenced the game so much. And just outside of Steph Curry too, that this is what the NBA is. And JJ Redick, ironically on first take, was talking about this, uh, how everyone is spread out and there's more space to get to the basket now because of the three-point shooting. And that's increasing the offense. And in that debate, they were talking about why the nba has so much offense in the first place and jj broke down because of all the three-point shooting so i don't think it's something that they are unfamiliar with at this point in time and another reason i wanted to bring up uh, i was listening to richard jefferson who obviously is a former player and he was definitely good back in his day with new jersey and he actually brought up that team usa needed interior play he wanted them to go big not necessarily even shoot the ball he even suggested that their starting lineup should be joel Embiid. Anthony Davis, LeBron James, Kevin Durant, and Jason Tatum. This is in a whole nother video I covered in, in regards to specifically the starting lineup itself. But uh, nonetheless, let's continue and get into what Mad Dog said. How is the USA, though, with all these Hall of Famers, one of the great teams assembled, how are they going right down to the wire against South Sudan, who, by the way, was a 46 and a half point underdog? 43. Yeah. 43, yeah, excuse me, 43 point underdog, yeah, and then no. Germany's playing a bunch of guys, these he's, 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 uh, Schroeder, I mean, and they're going down to the wire to beat this team? What do you this attribute? US, what do you attribute? I don't to? know. I mean, he's the expert, let him say. I, I think I can answer this for Mad Dog. Let's start with the obvious. Throughout all their games, they've been tinkering with different starting lineups. So one could say that the chemistry is not right there as of yet, and they're just going out there and playing on the wing, just improvising as they go. To counter that point, one could say, well, the talent is so immense, that shouldn't matter anyways. These games shouldn't be this close where they have to try this hard. And if you are in that boat, then I would say that simply means they are relying too much on their talent and they're not actually trying to put enough effort and take the competition seriously, right? And if that's the case, then that's just an attitude fix and a mentality change. But it sounds like they may be, I don't know, based off of clips I hear with LeBron James, saying that they got to be tested and it's a good thing rather than just being blown out. So maybe they are actually trying. And that leads to my next point that we are just underestimating the talent around the world. Every team that they face had at least one NBA player on it. If you guys are also wondering what was Stephen A's response, the reason why I didn't show y'all that was because he basically said what I already played for y'all. He went back into the whole three point shooting and then needing to hit shots. He also mentioned certain things that I was saying in terms of the world that's caught up. It's not as easy. This is not the 92 Dream Team anymore. Anyways, let me know what y'all think. What do you believe is the issue with Team USA? Is it anything that I mentioned? Is it anything that you heard Stephen A. Smith and Mad Dog said? Or do you got something completely different, a whole other perspective that you believe is not being heard? This is the place to get it off. Hit me in the comment section. Like and subscribe. And as always, salute for listening. Peace.